Thanks to a chance encounter, I rescued Falk, who seems to be another cleric in search of technology. Now, I didn't exactly expect to find anyone on top of this converter. What is this ominous note here? I have no idea. I don't even know where it went. Maybe I should sell some of these notes because I've been hoarding them for no reason. Hmm. Don't know. Anyway, so Falk suggested that we should travel together. Which I thought was a brilliant idea. I've been looking for a companion to join me for quite a while now. Well, ever since Duress. So that's that. But I don't really know much about Falk. He's not exactly a talkative person. And I'm not sure how... I wonder if I can get up there. Hey, mister. Wh what is your policy for using a jetpack? <laughs> I don't suppose he has one readily available. But I want to get up there to see if there's something to be had. So if you can't join me, then I'm going to have to leave you behind here. Oh. Whoa! Oh, right. Good one, Falk. Looks like he has one too. Wonderful. Wow. We are kindred spirits. Already I can feel like we will get along splendidly. Okie dog, some stuff. What is this? King's Sorrel. Wow. <laughs> In the most unexpected place ever. And it shines so brightly too. It's almost too nice to pick up to be honest. Alright. Anyway, no need to get sentimental about stuff. Uh, grenades and whatnot. <coughs> Now, I am curious to see what Falk can do in combat. And there were plenty of creatures and whatnots uh, laying about this tower, this converter. So, yeah, I'm of a mind to jump off it, but I'm not sure how you feel about it, Falk. Maybe let's take it a little bit easier and find ourselves. Oh, right, so you are good with the jetpack. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, I also have the teleporter, so I suppose I don't necessarily need to jump, but I mean... Psh, please. <laughs> yep, here we go. Oh, right, he's coming too. Oh, mister, you better watch your landing. This is a dangerous area. No shit, Sherlock. You have no idea the crap I had to go through alone. And since I technically rescued you, that makes me better than you. So you better take notes. Okay, let's have our first encounter here. Over there. Whoa! Whoa! I I am not a fan of rod board, just so you know. Come on, mister. Are you <laughs> contributing? <laughs> All you have to do is just swing that thing. There we go. Finally. Damn. I will help, of course. Nice. Wow, that for me to handle alone was a huge ordeal. And I cannot tell you how many times. I had to run with the tail behind my, uh, between my legs. But I think things are about to look up now. Okay, so there's this guy. I got his parts and I hope that's enough for him to go back to Goliath. About these converter parts. I got them, bruvs. Here, I found these in the converter. The converter parts? You got them? That's exactly what you were asked me to bring him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe my curse has been broken. Right. Well, you take care of yourself now. Will you take the converter parts to Goliath? I'll rest first. I won't believe this curse lifted until I see it. 
And I will need my energy in case those mutants come back. Curses aren't real. You're free. <sighs> so I used to say. Superstitious raptor shit. But maybe I am free now. Travel safe, and thank you. Excellent. Okay. I suppose Falk agrees with me, or...? Ah, it kind of said there that I failed something, or something else was cancelled. I don't suppose I can see what exactly I did, or... I guess that some of these quests, quests and tasks have multiple choices, so you can uh, choose if you want to help one side or another side, or steal or not steal or something like that so maybe this was one of those situations i don't really know anyway i still wanted to meet with those separatists who are somewhere up north it could be very interesting so maybe let's uh, head north uh, also, Falk here, he has a quest of his own to find some technology. Now, some of the places he was looking into, I have visited before, and some of those I haven't. So, perhaps I, we can do that as well. Uh, hold on, I also leveled up a little bit here. Doom. Uh, uh, right, I was of the mind to learn this, so I should find myself a Charisma Trainer. Maybe when I find the next Teleporter or so, or maybe I should do it now. Okay, since I'm about to head off, let me see what Falk needs. Okay, so we have a little thing over there, I'm not sure how to get there. Maybe through here? Yeah, these off-course locations are probably very difficult. Okay, so there's something here. And I... Well, since I'm going back to the Outlaws, maybe I should go back to speak with Chloe. She could train me. So, there we go. We the can... fort is not just a term from the present day. This location served as a defensive position in the Old World. Old World expert, aren't you? If there is anything you'd like to know, you just have to ask. I am always happy to exchange information. I'd noticed. Mister, I like you. Yes, that could be very good to know, but... How do we get ourselves across here? Okay, so this is my method. I'm not sure how you'll deal with it. Alright, in the same way. Great. That's, that's good to know. At least he's experienced with the jetpack, if nothing else. Hey, you don't have to believe everything they say. This bar Frankly, should prove an interesting place for observing back. local social interactions. Getting drunk, <laughs> that's where he'll be. And getting drunk. Chloe. Teach me something. Alright. Right. What I want to learn is attribute here. Which is supposed to give me an additional point each time I level up. This is uh, rather looking at the big picture don't take action, so it's not going to be trouble. useful right away again i'm becoming better just not stronger so but now that i have folk with me the fort of tavar i've heard a lot about it i'm intrigued to see what we find inside lots of assholes that's for sure and a few good people right i still need to look for a rat's chest right so I can find that money he owes Chloe. Okay, it will join. Is this what you're looking for? Okay, well that was easy. Again, relatively speaking. Cool, so we can cross that off our list. Mm, let's see. Next one is somewhere in the in Ignadon. Right. There were lots of things and lots of ruins to explore around there. Oh, right. And now that we are in Ignadon, there is something you could help me out with, Falk. 
Uh, so since we are doing your pilgrimage quest, I suppose you could say, how about you help me with mine as well? I was supposed to go and check out some of these shrines. Mm. Right. Right, so at least one of my shrines seems to be close by to your thingy there. So let's take this methodically and get this done more efficiently. Now I do have a little bit of experience here in Ignodon, so it's better that we stick together and pretty much avoid most of the creatures here because they're super dangerous. Okay, so I have to do a little bit of a prayer. Nothing spectacular is happening though. I mean, <laughs> it's not like Kalan is going to make an appearance or anything. Seems a little bit ridiculous if you ask me, but hey, whatever. Maybe this is one of those aspects I have to turn off my brain and just do to please these people and perhaps it will help us get along better without any extra fuss. Okay, so from what I remember last time, there were a couple of rat boys around here, so let's try to avoid them if we can. I know we are together now and perhaps we are a little bit stronger, but rat boars have been and I presume will continue to be an actual challenge. Not that there is anything here that isn't a challenge. And if I'm not mistaken, there was also something to the north, right? Some robots that I'm supposed to check which allegedly went haywire. Okay. Well, here's how it is. We have good news and bad news. The bad news is there are a bunch of chickens right next to the altar. So I'm guessing it won't be easy to access it. And the good news is that I can probably AOE them with a little bit of help from you. All right, well, let's give this a shot. And see how it goes. Over there. Feel free to help me, by the way. Okay, this is pretty awesome. Oh. 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 Yep. Close one. Right. Ah, <sighs> my little gadget gauntlet there is pretty amazing when it comes to crowd controlling a bunch of enemies. Though, it's not easy on the batteries. Ah, here's the dead acolyte. I guess this fool tried to access the shrine without killing the chickens. Mabes. Alright. Well, I'm also making a little bit of a donation. Hopefully it pleases clan. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, not really, but what the hell. And now we have to head south. What is the most efficient way to do that? Perhaps taking the road, so going a little bit west here, though we should avoid any of the raptors, so we avoid the raptors, we take the main highway, we reach this place, then we go across, right, and hopefully it will work out. If not, do what I do and run. If you see some shit that can usually just eat us, the best that you do is run. I will wait here. What? No. Don't wait there. Come with me, mister. I need you. Good. Now it's just a little bit of lava. It's not a big deal. You just have to be careful. And of course, avoid the mutant bug over there. That's not good for anybody. Yeah, 
this patch here will be a little bit difficult. Just come up to me. Yeah. I am here. I will wait. <coughs> yep. All right. Cool. Yeah. It could have been a lot worse. Nice. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, mister, trust me, no matter what, do not stop, do not look at it. Don't make eye contact, don't even sneeze in its direction. Yeah, I know. Fucking hell. Just run! Okay, trust me when I say I've done this before and I'm still here, so... You would be wise to listen. I wonder what those yellow bulbs are. Aren't they just for decoration or... Perhaps I could harvest them somehow. Okay, so is this the main road? Yes. However... Yeah. Yeah, so it's either the mutant bug or the nasty reaper. Why is there never an obvious route? Okay, so let's avoid it, let it sleep. And yeah, we should do our best to travel during nighttime because you see, uh, this may not be necessarily the, uh, the biggest or the most important thing, but if we can avoid the confrontation by simply having some of these rippers and rot beasts and whatnots sleep while we travel, I don't think it's such a bad thing. It's not like during nighttime it's so dark outside you can't see. It's pretty much perfectly visible. I would have liked to see the old world as it was before the comet. Yes, I am curious about that as well. But I am not sure there's any sort of recorded history that I know of. Well, there is in written but not in video. Is what I mean. Oh, and mister, you know what? As we go towards our objectives, I also like to take a look around. Not really rush here and there, but just explore a bit. See what else there is to be found. Now, the Sulfur Nuggets, I did observe there. Uh, okay. If you'd like to take care of that, I would not mind. I think you should be able to handle it. It's just a chicken. Oh. Yeah. We can fry it, I suppose. Maybe I put a little bit too much faith in you. Oh, you're fine. So were you just playing dead or something? Can you actually just smack this little thing? Man, you're probably actually doing any damage with that weapon, I guess. I think he's mad at me. Alright, ju just hit it, please. We can, we can fry it later, but if, if this thing hits me, I won't last more than a hit or two. Fudge! Damn fuck. Are you alright? You are right, mate. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can trick it a little bit until you get back to your senses. <clears throat> All that while not forgetting to loot. Uh, hey, bruvs. You good? Can we actually kill this thing? Uh, 
Come on, just a couple of more. Okay, well, lesson learned, even chickens may still be too tough. I say that with a very heavy heart. Well, what can you do, bruvs? What can you do? Okay, we need to head south, I think. It's a little bit confusing. Okay, maybe this way. I keep going back and forth. Let's go this way. I have a good feeling about this place. Oh, I can see it already. There we go. Oh man, tell me those are good people. I cannot handle some reavers right now. Fudge. What do you think, folk? Can we handle this? Hmm? Problem is, the reavers also have ranged weapons. They have melee weapons. They hit like a truck and they take a lot of damage. At least from what I've noticed so far. So how are we going to do this, eh? That's the fucking question of a lifetime. Alright, so it looks like these assholes kind of ambushed here. Oh shit, there are five of them. Damn, son. I was going for some, some easy action. Uh, maybe if I... What's the battle plan? Like, if shit hits the fan, which it will. Mm, perhaps I jump down there, where? Will that guy even travel in merchant? So... Hey, do you think there's any chance I can talk my way out of this? I'm not that intimidating, so I may I don't really want to pay these assholes either. Either way, it seems like I lose. Yeah. You can't use magic here. That's not magic, Good. asshole. It's technology. Give me the elixir you're carrying. I, I, I've already given you everything. Don't bullshit me. Give me what you're hiding. I'm not hiding anything. Really. You have everything I own. But if you want to fight... Oh, fucking Reavers. They came out of nowhere. Keep your eyes open. There are more of them. What? You want more than anything. five? Really. You uh... have everything I own. <laughs> I don't know if I want to heal, heal you. Help you. Heal you. Anything. But if you want to fight... No, he you doesn't want to fight. Bastard. Fuck! He doesn't want to fight. I don't want one either. Why are we fighting? Let's talk this like civilized gentlemen. Yes? Um, hey, mister. If you'd like to help... That might actually even be good. Yes, just shoot him, please. Yep. Shoot him like you mean it. You will not get away with that. Hey man, I got a bunch of assholes on me. Do you think it's possible that you actually hit the guy with the gun? Alright, perfect. And this other asshole, please. Thanks. You know what? Pull out your gun and shoot him. Shoot him. I'm attacking. Are you though? You could have fooled me, you know. Huh. <sighs> Alright. Well, somehow we managed to kill them. But I 
Oh, hand grenades are nice. I think the merchant also died in the process. Oh, yeah. We didn't exactly do a good job rescuing him, did we? But it's like, dude, if you see a bunch of reavers coming your way, right? Here you are, a traveling merchant. Maybe don't be so obvious and actually run into them. You know, just go around. Do like we do. And I'm just saying. Damn. These people, man. <laughs> they don't know that running away is healthy, eh? Anyway. Well, at least we made a little bit of Elex. Elexit. Elexit. So, there's your sil silver lining. <coughs> wait here. No, you won't wait there. You'll come with me. Okay, so I think this is the bridge I was supposed to take. We're on the right path. Let me check this out for a sec. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, you know what? It may not be such a bad idea to sleep. Gather my strength a little bit. Okay, we're good. Um, I think at some point I actually came through here uh, when I was looking for that chem supplier and I know there are some really nasty creatures some very disturbing stuff that I saw we would do well to try and avoid it let me take a quickie look right 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 yeah right I remember right so I there's a bunch of nasty shit here, and as I went up the mountain, it was a little bit better, but not by much. So, just try to... Uh, I see a mutant. And, of course, I remember the chicken. Let's avoid everything, because if we start... No, I mean for real. Don't fight, don't look at them. Don't even make eye contact, just run. Oh, a teleporter. I guess I missed that last time. Okay. Are you good? Please stop fighting the chicken. Thank you. Okay, so we're not that far off now. But there are some shit. There are some shitty creatures. I will wait here. No, you won't come with me. Stop saying that you wait there. Please. I need these sulfur nuggets because I can use them for crafting various things. Okay, avoid that thing. Come this way, it looks safe enough. Alright, uh, avoid the sleeping rot boar. I hear more growling, which is usually a bad sign. You better start to listen for those growl sounds. Are you sure this is a good place for us to be? It's a fucking shithole nightmare. No, it's not a good place. But, you know, sometimes there's opportunity because it's dangerous. You know, some other looters probably stayed away, so there's some stuff to be found. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully something more than just a couple of cigarettes. Alright. It seems... All right. Let's go. Okay. Nothing bad on the horizon. We can do this, Bravs. One step at a time. I can see the shrine. Uh, I can hear a growling rat boar and there's a shitty... What is this? Yeah, blood claw. Same deal. Okay. 
good. That takes care of that. Now I have to return to Boulder, but we should also take care of your stuff. Right? You scratched my back, and now let's scratch yours. Uh, doo -doo 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 we are not so far away from it, so... Let's make like a chicken and strafe in between whatever guarding it or whatever guarding this place. You know, it wouldn't hurt if you would just say if you see anything dangerous. Right, so if. Imagine seeing the impact of the comet with your own eyes. Imagine being incinerated in a fraction of a second. No, I think I'd rather imagine seeing the comet hit the planet. Imagine not paying attention to your surroundings and getting your ass eaten instead of just providing useful survival information. Uh, okay, I'll take this. What's up with the safe? Maybe I can hack it. Let's see. And this would be the second chest I attempt to hack, so let me figure that out. 8 is greater than 6, greater than 4, or 2, which is less than 4. Let's try it like that. Okay, so let's try 1 and 9. I'm in. Perfect. That was pretty easy. I'm starting to get a hang of that. Yeah, I saw you. I heard you even before I saw you. So let's make like a chicken. Yep, yep, yep. It's sleeping at the moment. So let's not mess with it. Anyway, we're going this way, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, I see a bunch of ruins. Maybe we should check out the ruins too. Oh, your shit is in the ruins. Perfect. Yep. Yep, I hear the growling. And growling is bad. Typically. Unless I growl. Well, when I growl, it's also bad. Okay, what is this? Alexit, energy cells, wonderful. Sulfur nugget, great. Alright. Tell me you heard that because that is some creepy ass shit. A survival artist's amulet. Don't I already have a survival amulet? Is that different or do I not remember it correctly? I do have a amulet of survival, yes. The one with dexterity on it. And this one has even more dexterity. Look at that stuff. Awesome. Okay. Cool. I suppose that having more dexterity would allow me to equip that um, laser. But the laser, the pew pew laser, uh, the pew pew rifle, doesn't particularly deal a lot of damage. Nope. Can we handle this, do you think? I'm honestly just trying to create the opportunity for you to attack. Nothing more. This thing can probably one-shot me. Come, come on, bro. Just one more. Or a couple of more. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes, I got it. I got it, bros. Okay, well, you gotta do it. The area here is rather worrisome. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I say we make like a chicken and fuck off. Yeah. This could get complicated real quick.
All right. Well, let's see. So we technically got our shit done. Maybe we can have a look around to see what the other things we can find. Some of the buildings that we missed since we are not in any danger and we're not specifically aiming for anything. Okay, is it gonna come this way you think? I don't know. But you see, some of these things aren't so hard to acquire, right? It's not like everywhere is dangerous. As long as we case the place correctly, then we can get ourselves or our hands on some sweet loot. And as it turns out, having some sweet loot in the apocalypse is the difference between life and death. So there's more than one way to die, like uh, not having something to eat or whatever. Or not being able to wield a proper weapon or having some actual protective armor. And just wearing the same clothes I've been wearing for weeks now. Don't tell me about the smell because I know it's not pleasant, but what can you do? Hygiene has been a little bit as a secondary afterthought right next to not getting my ass chewed and numbed. Alright, so maybe there is a little bit of a um, um, basement here. Though I couldn't really say which way to go to enter it. I don't suppose you have any ideas, folk. No. Oh. No, I think we came this way. Never mind. Okay, let's avoid that uh, bloody thing. Alright, it wasn't a basement, it was actually outside. There we go. So I got that stuff, I got just about everything, if I'm not mistaken. Superb. Okay. Maybe we can find something good here as well. Oh, I see potentially some energy cells, which I absolutely need. Awesome. I'll take care of that asshole. Uh, which asshole is that? Look out! Whoa, that asshole! You mean these assholes? That is a lot of assholes, by the way. Uh, they're going to try to shoot me in the face. I typically rate that as very bad. Falk, where are you, by the way? Alright, so typically... <gasps> Mother... What the... These guys got rocket launchers, are you mental? I was not expecting that, to be honest. <laughs> what in the actual bloody duck? La da wow, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah. Bravs, you have to stop me the next time I get the fantastic idea of trying to loot a river compound without first scoping the place and realizing there are a bunch of rivers. Right, so if you ever get those, uh, this is a bad place or bad idea premonitions, make sure to let me know too. Yes, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sometimes I don't realize it myself and perhaps having a little heads up for my trusting traveling companion could go a long way.
All right, this is also looking pretty juicy. Uh, as long as we can manage to kill whatever that thing is, that blood clot. Oh, this is actually different. Okay. Well, it definitely does the same thing as the other ones. Okay, just a little bit until we get the, its attention. Damn, it actually dodged without even looking at me. What a survival instinct this one has. Nice. Nice. Perfect. See, it works. I mean, all I have to do is get its attention and you just have to mull it down. No biggie. It's not so scary. I mean, it was definitely scary when I was alone, but now it's a little bit more manageable. I think it's very risky for us to be here. I know, but you know, I see a sword and I can't help myself, man. That is just how I am. You'll have to get used to me. Fudging chairs. I swear, it's like, ah, uh, I don't want to sit down. I just want to take the shit and get the fudge out. Okay, let's make like a super sneaky squirrel here. Okay, I got that and I got this and now we are running. Perfect. Now, you know, there was a little bit of a compound looking thing over here. I kind of had to run past it before, but now maybe we can take a look inside. Right, I can hear the growling outside, so best not to draw attention here. Alright, alright. No, I'm not good enough for that. Oh man, that is a super complicated chest. Yeah. Hopefully I can craft that amulet. If I get enough lockpicks so I can craft that amulet at the workbench, that would be very useful. Okay, well, forget about that. I don't think it's that important. Sir... So, okay. Okay, so we cased just about... Oh, Folk, you're here with me. Cool. Uh, what else is there? There are a couple of more houses on this side. Uh, there's this thing here. I'm not sure. Did we actually get a chance to look at this building yet? Don't know. Uh, though I do remember at, at the end of some of these houses, there was a very strange, peculiar, odd-looking monster. We should definitely avoid that one. I will wait here. No, I mean, basically, I'm just looking for more sulfur along the lava bank here. Sulfur is good. Uh, growling creatures is bad. Houses with loot is also good. The old world is truly fascinating. I guess so. Only by the loot that is left behind. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Are those arrows, are you telling me? There are arrows. You know, I did notice that it is possible to upgrade weapons with that modify weapon skill. That I Okay, we're getting too close to the strange monster. So I vote we don't get too close though. Right, so there's a skill I can learn. I will wait here. About modifying weapons. Which I saw it takes a bunch of different materials which 
which I may or may not have, but it does make the weapon stronger. So in the future, it may be a good idea for me to invest into that. Okay, so where are we? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's go a little bit north, a little bit west, and then perhaps we can check out this monster building here. And I think that would be just about all of them. All that I can make out, at least. Um, how are we doing this, though? Any thoughts on this matter? Oh! Are those energy cells? No, oh, fuel. But fuel can also come in handy. Wait, 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 wait. Chimera. That sounds terrible. Let's not go that way. I think I can <coughs> make it if I jump like this. Alright, come on, bruvs. Let's check out this one structure and then we have another one to the west and then we're good. Whatever easy pickings we can find, it will surely come in handy. Oh, oh, hello there. Easy peasy. Too easy. Large ba uh, bag of Alexit and a golden chalice. A little bit, a little bit more for me. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm not really a fan of camps, but perhaps I can sell those at some point. Or maybe some of them are actually very good. Right, I can see a sword there. Uh, do you think I can jump from here? Probably so, right? Let me... Oh, what? Just be careful about the raptor. Don't trigger it, please. Sleeping bag? No thanks. Sword, fire. Two-handed fire sword. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like something that needs a lot of strength and constitution, maybe. Not really good for me, but you never know what may happen in the future. Okay. Is that you? Did you pull one of these mother duckers? <laughs> Can you at least keep the... Whoa, you pulled a fucking raptor, man. What did I say about not pulling raptors, eh? Yeah. Okay, at least you keep him busy. Oh, another survival artist's whatnot. Uh, mister, do you think... Do you think we should fight this? What the fudge? What's that? No, 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 terrible idea, terrible idea. Terrible, terrible idea, terrible idea, terrible... Fucking fly, man. Yes. Woo. That was scary as hell. Uh, hey, man, can, maybe I can actually throw a couple of these. Right. All right, we are getting somewhere. Damn. Hold on. Let me recharge a little bit. We almost got a one too. Let's not let it get away, please. Uh, 
Oh, baby. Oh, that was nerve-wracking, to be honest. Yeah. Mister, you have to learn to be more sneaky and quiet, yeah? I mean, this could have ended up really badly. Oh, hold on a second. I think I can actually open this chest. All I need is... Adventurer's amulet, perfect. I knew there was a reason I kept this with me. No. Fudge. I don't have too many of these, so I have to be careful. All right, perfect. Too easy. Yeah, bravs. Way too easy. Cleric's amulet. Energy regeneration. Wait, energy is the stuff that I'm using for my gadget, right? That sounds nice. Large bag of Alexit and a soft toilet paper. <laughs> I remember Chloe used soft toilet paper. Hmm. Alright. I should keep this for Chloe in case she wants to trade. Alright. Uh, you know what? If there are more of these raptors outside, you should probably let me go first. Okay, what is this energy regeneration thingy thingy? Uh, what do I have for a ring? Oh yeah, the toughness one. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Let me get this thing already. Toy dinosaur, check. Uh, some Alexit, check. Check, check. All right, all right. Oh, there are more raptors, but they're not in the vicinity. So, very quickly, I'll see what I can find here. Magnesium torch, sure. Oh, a recipe. Oh, for firebug. Eh. I need some magnesium torches at least, so that's good. Uh, ta -ta -tum. I can see something up there. Oh, more torches. Perfect. Cool. Okay, well, I would say that about does it. Now, let's make our way west and then a little bit north, right? West is that way. Oh, mister, my energy is actually restoring. There we go. It, it, it did it again. Nice. Oh, right. This amulet is definitely useful. I mean, I saw one, I think, for... Or did I? Was that one for uh, berserkers? For mana regen? Maybe. Or maybe I'm just confused. Confused? Anyway, which means that now I can... Whoa! Hello there. Old coins. I can buy some of the items from the vending machines. Mister, you are preventing me from my sweet loot, please. Stand a little bit farther away. You're cramping my style, yeah? Uh, let me get the sulfur real quick. We did come this way, right? Did we say anything bad about this place? Or is it still up in the air? Don't know. Let's have a quick look around and if it looks too dangerous, we'll run away. Oh, you know what? I remember now. So when I first came to Ignodon, I went up this uh, bridge here. And in this compound, uh, I saw at the entrance a couple of mutants. Now, I don't really know what people call mutants. I call mutants the... Weird, old-looking things that wield some strange weapons. 
But I think we could learn much from these ruins. Yes. So you're thinking it's a good idea. Then you should come here and make like a chicken with me. And please don't let From my reading, I would say this must have served as a water treatment facility at really? one time. That said, I wouldn't recommend trying the water here. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. If you need water, I have a lot of bottles. Um Is that an outlaw? Don't know. I don't want to sit down. Please stop sitting everywhere. Uh, hey, folk, what is your take on clever goods acquisition from other people's pockets, you think? Uh, what is this about? Rodder's note. Let me take a quick look at this, please. Uh, what does it say? A note of important pieces of key data. What does that mean? It was a good idea to secure our supplies against Reavers and other thieves. Unfortunately, I forgot the codes again. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to make me responsible for that. We starved for two days even though we were only an arm's length away from food. What a douchebag. In the end, I had to hire someone to break in, to break in. But it was worth it to get access and new codes. Now, I have a full stomach and I am never going to forget the codes again. As a reminder, there we go, a bunch of codes. I have already forgotten which code belongs to which unit, but there aren't too many to choose from. Huh. Okay, so potentially there are three chests. Three of these uh, secure chests, and these are the codes. Cool. Before I talk to this guy, I'm going to have a quick look around. Okay, there's another map piece. I have no idea. Uh, okay, I don't think he actually minds me taking this kind of stuff, so... No biggie. Whoa, I see a lockpick, maybe. That's awesome. And here is one of those chests. Uh, give me a second so I can take a look at the codes, though... Honestly, I can probably just break in. 9981. <laughs> One four five five. That didn't work. I'm in. All right, survival pack. Cool. Oh, so here is where I was supposed to get those survival packs, huh? All right. So, I found one of the chests. Let's see where we can find the other ones. And after that, we can talk to these people. Yeah, definitely get my hands on that lockpick. Is this a thing? Is it dead? Is dead. Otherwise, it would have growled at me. Wait, are you telling me these people actually managed to kill a bunch of rippers? That is pretty impressive. Considering what we have to go through to get it done. Though... I must admit, this place doesn't really look exactly secure, with broken walls and whatnot. Energy cells? No. Fuel? Alright, maybe. Uh, maybe it, it's actual ammo for that flamethrower I have. Which I suspect I'll never be able to use anytime soon. <laughs> no, I don't want to see this on the loo. I'm going to leave them some toilet paper. I'm not that greedy, alright? Calm down. Okay. Got it. I'm going to take the elixir. Got it. Okay, so here's another of the supply chests. I'm sorry, I don't really have a good memory, so I'm going to have to read these again. It's 9981 and 1758. That didn't work. I'm in. Alright. 
Okay, so the only code that's left is 1758. Let's just find the chest to open it. Energy cells? Yes. Now, the question is, where could it be? I've already checked here and I've already checked back there. Hold on a second. There was something hanging there. Right, Four Horses Part 4, but what happened with the other parts? I have another part, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Folk? Where could the last chest be? I hope it's actually inside this camp. Hmm. But I honestly can't see it. Well, this is. I must remember these ruins. I would like to return to them someday. Uh, well, there's a teleporter here. Don't worry about it. We can figure that out. Right. Well, sadly, I don't know where the chests are, or the chest is. It's the last one. Maybe I can get a little bit of help from my locator. If only. Okay, give me a second here. All right. How did I miss that one? Oh, it was actually right here. Uh, this should be 1758. I'm in. And that's that. Awesome. Looks like I didn't really have to do anything for, for begging them or training or anything. But it may be still a good idea to talk to this guy. A new wanderer in our midst. Welcome, vagabond. I'm not a vagabond. Hey, though. Hello yourself. Here we are in the most blessed corner of the world. Here amongst these rocks, away from the confusion of unbelievers. Here you can be free, at one with the world. I know it might not look like it, but life can be pretty good here. So, I bid you welcome and offer you the chance to stay and join our happy community. Yeah, that's a hard pass. This place is a shithole. No thanks. I have other plans. Of course you do. I hope they work out for you. I hope you have chosen your life plans well. Too many times I have seen people crushed as they watch their dreams die. But enough of that. What can I do for you? Why are you living in this dump? You're pretty friendly for someone who has chosen to live in the middle of nowhere. A dream brought me here. Not any chem-fueled vision. An honest dream of freedom preserved, and I want to share that dream with the world. Right. How do I still not have charisma? Man, it's like I'll never get good at this. And have the outlaws come after you? We've seen raiding parties, but we've hidden from them. Now Baxter's lost his seat in Tavar to the Duke. He'll be looking at getting his fort back, not worrying about a few escapees. He must have forgotten us by now. And so, if you like, you would be welcome to stay and relax here. You can learn more about us. Huh. Uh, mm, I don't know. Sure. Whatever, man. Thank you. I will stay. There is no need to thank me. All are welcome here. You're an ignodon. Why not join the clerics? You think the clerics are free? They might offer safety. But in joining them, 
we would have swapped one set of chains for another. The only way our dream could become true was to begin our own community. While the other factions talk about being free, we want that to be true. We want to be free people. An interesting social experiment, though we will have to wait centuries to see if this small band can indeed evolve into a faction of comparable size, power, and influence to those already in existence. Hundreds? We intend to be around for thousands. Right. Well, good luck with that. And is everything going well here? Freedom comes with a price. Sometimes literally, and we're short of shards. We need shards. But before that, we need to get our generator running. And that means finding the right components to repair it. But where to find the pieces we need out here? At the end of the world. We need some of those plastic string things you find in machines. But I don't know where you can find them. Hmm... You're from Tavar and you don't know how to salvage components? I'll fix the generator. Oh, we weren't salvage collectors. We were Baxter's brute force. We looted, burned, destroyed. We didn't learn about making anything. Bit of a drawback now we're out here trying to survive. Great, as long as these are the right sort of plastic strings, wires, we should be in business. Well, it works. Shit, you know your components. Thanks for your expertise. You could make a living at this. Here, I haven't got shards, but this might come in handy. Okay, thanks. Happy to help. Good luck to you and your uh, future settlement, I guess. Do you have anything to trade here? I'm looking to buy some survival packs of meat. Yes, yes, of course. We're good hunters. So, we have, you know, hunting stuff to trade. Food, bits of animals, and the survival packs you mentioned. I'll take some. They need supplies back at the hort. Yeah, no, you see, there is one problem. Animals seem to want the meat we've got. I mean, big, wild animals. We could fight them off with weapons, but, you know, no weapon shops out here. <laughs> okay. That seems like a big issue if you ask me. So, you need me to get you weapons? Weapons? Shit, no. We can make them ourselves. We hunt. We trade. We... you know. We're a community. So here's the deal. An old friend is coming to visit soon to sell me the gear we need to... you know. I told him I'll have the shards by then. But... I'm missing the shards we need. You help me, I help you. You've helped the community. The community will work it out. No, I already got your shit. And that's on you. You should definitely learn to protect your crap better. Anyhow, do I still want to go over here with the mutants? Maybe we will pass on this for now and just return back to the horde and turn in whatever we have managed to do so far. Uh, I have want to go and talk to Balder about my little pilgrimage and see what else he has for me. And I also have to talk to Marta. Alright, let's see what else is in store for us. That. 